blind viewports to existing configurations and displaying different views. We have control over our new um, viewports and when we create a config viewport configuration uh, we're going to do that. We're going to go over here to our end canvas controls, click on the little plus sign and go to viewport configuration and we're going to say configure and we'll go to new viewports uh, and I'll give this a name, I'll say uh, three, um, how about uh, conceptual, all right, so I can say, all right, I want to go with three vertical, or right, well, let's go with three right, okay, and what do we want to apply to? We're going to apply to the display in 3D, and we're going to change you to the top, and we're going to say conceptual. All right, and I can actually come over here and uh, say OK. And I ended up with that. Now let's go do that again. I'm going to hit that plus sign, and I'm going to go in the configuration list, and I'm going to say let's configure. And this time I'm going to say the same thing again. I'm going to go three right. And instead of applying to display, because when we apply to display, we apply to the whole screen. Let's try it different. We're going to go to the current viewport, and we're still going to be 3D realistic and top. And I'm going to say OK. Now what happens is I busted that one viewport up into this new configuration. So whenever we're in our viewport configuration list, and we set what this to apply to, um, when we set it to display, it does the whole screen. When we set it up to be a viewport, it's whatever viewport is going to get busted up. When we have the setup, uh, in this class we'll do all 3D. Uh, previously we could have just 2D. And we could also change the view. What do we want the view to be changed to? Um, this replaces our current view from the, in the in, and sets up a particular view that we want. And I, I could say the current view, uh, for example. And we can also replace any visual style we want. So I can come in here and say, ah, let's go and put, you know, x-ray in here. So right now, I'm going to do three with the right. I'm going to do display, so it's going to do all the screen. It's 3D, it's current view, and it's x-ray. And I'll say OK. And now, boom. I replace that with um, a 3 one and it's in its x-ray over here so whenever we are in our in, in canvas controls configuring our viewports by using the configure we have these four buttons down here and I can set them to be the whole display or we can bust them up into each viewport we always want to be 3d we can change our view to whatever view we want and we can change it to whatever style we want and then we can also set our whatever our, our settings are, such as our grids and our snaps um, and all those types of things, whatever those are set on, if those are set in each one of the viewports, when we save the configuration to a name uh, or hit OK, uh, then all those will be saved with that configuration. So. Uh, applying viewports to existing configuration displays and displaying different viewports is all done with those four buttons when we come up and we go to our viewport configuration and we're going to set, set these four buttons control everything. We can also give it a name if we like but these are the main players of how it sets up our configuration of our viewports.